So I was like, let me come on here today and just tell you a little bit about my experiences becoming a lawyer. Initially, when I first started the whole law thing, I didn't know what to expect because undergrad was, I did my undergraduate degree in criminology and it was really, it was straightforward for me. It was what I expected. But when I got to law school, it was different. It was totally different. It was a whole new ball game. I just remember being completely overwhelmed with what was expected of me because I was only 23 and I had taken on this great big responsibility of becoming a lawyer. Up until that point, all I really cared about was fashion and parties and you know, all that good stuff. Now I had to think of torts and contracts and these massive life circumstances that prevent people from moving on with their lives. And so this was a lot for me to take in. And I remember having a, a conversation with one of my, my profs. Okay, sorry about that guys. My phone fully died and then I never had a chance to actually finish up the recording that we were doing before. And now I gotta go out again. Anywho, I always knew I wanted to be a lawyer from since I was young. I was always the talker in the family and so it was always said that you know I should probably be a lawyer because lawyers like to talk a lot. In grade 10 I took a law class and I really enjoyed it and so I made it my point of duty to get into a criminology program because at the time I mean there, the internet wasn't as vast as it is now and so at the time like the information wasn't readily available. I had no idea about corporate lawyers and you know uh, contract lawyers and business immigration lawyers and human rights lawyers and all that good stuff. So I only thought that it was all about crim. It really ignited my passion for the law and so from there I decided to uh, canvas different schools in Ontario to see which ones did criminology because I thought that the only type of lawyer that you could get is a criminology lawyer. Anywho, that happened. Ultimately I chose Carleton University. It's a school in Ottawa. The reason I chose Carleton was because they had a lot of scholarships and my grades were particularly high in high school. So for me it was a no-brainer. I did my four years at Carleton University, best four years of my life. If any of you guys are currently considering universities or you're looking for mentorship or help or advice, any of that good stuff about what schools to do your undergrad at, I'd be more than happy to kind of share my insights this far on what I think about the various different institutions and the different programs that they offer. Anyways, did my four years at Carleton. I was super involved. I did a lot of on-campus public affairs type, uh, student politic type stuff. I did uh, tons of different various jobs on campus. It is so cold. Still with the tearing up, tearing up thing. Different campus jobs. I was a residence fellow. I worked at the campus coffee house. I did campus tours. I did every and anything I could to not only keep myself busy, but to also bolster my law school application. Because one thing that they look for when you're applying to law school is that you're well-rounded and that you can multitask and prioritize and meet deadlines and have a lot on your plate, but yet still be able to balance it all. So the reason why I kind of inundated myself with a bunch of different responsibilities was to be able to prove on my application that this is what I could do. I applied to law school, got in, and then I was beyond exhausted. I was so tired. It was just such a busy four years and I just needed a break. So I took a year off and I took a year off, worked, made money, and just kind of chilled out. Much to the dismay of my family, my mom especially, she didn't like that whole year off thing, but it was crucial. It really was crucial. And it really did assist in kind of putting me back in that mental framework. After that, I got into law school. First year law school is all about your basic courses. So you have your contracts, you have your torts, criminal law. There's constitutional law, there's public law, there's property law, there's a whole bunch of your basic laws. Your second year, you're able to kind of you know, play around with that a little bit more. So I started taking more fun stuff. I took a, a course on law and technology. I took a, a intellectual property course that was all about protecting your ideas and protecting those intangible business ideas. In that course, I believe I did an essay, a fashion law essay, and that was a lot of fun. Do after your, four, your three years of law school, you have to do 10 months of articling. And during your 10 months of articling, you gotta gain those skills that you wouldn't get just studying the law from a theoretical perspective. 
I don't want this video to get too long. I actually am going to split this up into two parts. If you like this video and you'd like to see part two, please give it a big thumbs up and share it as well. Maybe you know somebody who wants to become a lawyer. Maybe they need someone to reach out to. I'm always available to chat. And yeah, I hope you like this and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.